Then over here, I ordered the alloy brakes and I got to customize since I am a fur lover and love my babies. I do represent the puppy paws, so it is customized as well. That would be the break. And then right here is actually the um, gas. Right there. And over here are the inside light strips that will be going into my car today. Uh, I will be installing these myself, so this is something for you to get ready to look forward to. And these particular ones are also, oops, I'm losing stuff, you guys. These are also the RGB car LED strip lights for the interior. So I will put this tedious little stuff back up so we can't lose it. And so, yep, that's what we'll be doing here in just a little bit. So stay tuned for videos on that. Here you're going to find, <clears throat> these are the tire stem valve covers. Um, there's actually eight of those that come in here. Um, it says eight pieces, focus, focus, focus. And yes, they are red because of the colors that I'm doing my mods in my car. So I did get eight. So if one of the Igmos, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> excuse me, forgets to put it back on, then I have a backup. They were relevantly inexpensive, so nothing I would fret over. So y'all stay tuned for everything put on and uh, customized to the Jeep as well on this one. And then over here, we have <clears throat> the dust mats, is what they're called. So what these do is these go in my door panels on my, my Jeep. So this one, I'll have to figure out where this one goes. And then this one goes in the door. And I'm thinking this one goes in the door as well. Um, yeah, that goes in the door as well. And then that's the door panel one at the bottom on the door. Um, I think, I don't know where this one goes, but I guess we'll figure it out. It goes somewhere. Okay, and then this one, I don't know where that one goes either. Crazy. And then I guess it's the same, <clears throat> Same thing for the other side of the door. So we would have the inside door piece, this little inside door piece, because that goes, this one goes like where you grab to close your door. So that one goes there. And then we've got these that go, I'm assuming, in where the Coke holder, where you set your Cokes, your drink holders. And then again, you got another one of those. So it's just a repeat set. Um, another round one for that. So these are actually silicone. I don't know where that goes, but I'm sure we'll figure that out as well. Pretty cool. So these are the called dust mats for the inside of your vehicle. And then, so here is <clears throat> the little piece that goes, sits down like this over your Coke holder um, that holds your coffee or your cups or whatever. And then, so those little round dust um, deals that I had just showed you guys, let me see if I can find one. That will be down on the inside of the actual cup holder, like down in the middle. And then I have the other one, um, some more that I bought a while back that actually say Jeep right here. So those will sit on top of that and it'll smooth, it'll keep it from moving. And then this is pops in on each side of that. And then we have um, some more trim. All right, so this trim goes inside on the steering wheel. So this will go on the right side of the steering wheel like so. What I'm basically doing is replacing the chrome this slides up in there on the bottom because Jeep has a little smooth piece that just sits right there at the very bottom down here like this. Okay, so that one would go there. And then you've got this other piece. Y'all yeah, bear with me a second. I'm trying not to do what I just did. These things are real slippery, 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 slippery. All right, so that's to the left and that's to the right of the steering wheel. 
right there. I could just get them to sit still a minute. Jesus. And then this part right here that's coming up actually goes in the middle of my steering wheel and replaces the chrome. So this way I don't have to paint, worry about that paint chipping off when you touch it. And then this piece goes down at the bottom, you know, of the steering wheel. So that's what we're doing to the steering wheel. And it's a beautiful red, you guys, really pretty. So that I'm working on as well. And so we have a lot of new things coming up. So yes, you guys need to stay tuned to NASCAR. So y'all, when I opened this up, I kind of tickled myself because I said, what is this? Y'all know what that is? <laughs> that is actually a 12 volt uh, lighter deal. And I ordered it because I am not hooking up my lights through the battery. Um, I don't do those things. So I was sure to get the red one and the black one as well to go inside my Jeep. It also actually has a place here where you can mount it on the side on the, and then this stays out of the way. This would stay out of the way, all of this. So it gives me some little low 3M glue and all that, you know, little stuff to, I guess, mount it or something, but I'm not worried about mounting it. So yes, you guys, y'all please stay tuned. Again, y'all take another wild look at all these new little mods that I've gotten done. I still have more coming in, you guys. Um, with that being said, please stay tuned to the completion of the mods to NASCAR Nana's Jeep. I've worked hard, I've put a lot of money into it a lot of thinking because this is gonna be permanent. So with that being said, um, I have another surprise coming in probably roughly in about four weeks, which is the customized license plates. And I also did the customized license plate cover. That should be in one day this week as well. That will not be revealed until I reveal the license plate tag itself. The metal plates. So, I hope you guys enjoy the Amazon week and the modifications to NASCAR Nana Gang, and we appreciate you as always for all your honest and true and loyal support. Please stay tuned to our giveaway coming up. Thank you.